Everything that we discuss, everything that we regard as real, postulates consciousness. One absolutely central and recurrent motif has been a fundamental polarity, which we have described as that of noesis and concretion, ideational and corporeal activity, the implicate and explicate orders of reality, conceptual and physical prehension, formative and efficient causality. The noetic realm, or pleroma, is a world of morphogenetic fields comprised of indeterminate, formative consciousness of potentialities as such, distributions of possibility which are navigated by the organic processes which constitute the living world. The pleroma can be understood as a world of complex forms which are related to one another so as to form composite images, nebulous distributions of possible interactions which are drawn into the flow of becoming so as to participate within the ever ongoing cosmogenesis which is the natural world. These fields of noesis are composite images, in the sense that they are shaped by the innumerable events which have already occurred in the past. Each moment of animacy tunes into the vast array of past actualities with which it co-participates in a common, formative composition. No droplet of experience is isolated, but rather is informed by a cosmic memory, which we could call the Akasha, the body of the world, which is the consequent activity of creative becoming. There are two basic categories of existence, noetic fields and the concrete events which are generated through the dynamic interrelating of such fields to one another. Once these corporeal events occur, their actualization is then incorporated into the living body of the cosmos where they become the raw materials through which we continue to generate reality. The pleroma, or noetic order, is a realm of unity, within which all things are always necessarily interwoven and enfolded with one another. The akasha, or corporeal order, is a realm of separation, within which the noemata of the pleroma are holographically projected outward and thus unfolded so as to become the world of sensorial, geometric space. Although the formative, compositional structures of the pleroma are enfolded and interwoven with one another such that they are not separated by divisions of geometrical distance. The pleroma is nonetheless organized in such a manner that it is much more than a mere homogeneous soup. Whereas the corporeal is separated on the basis of physical proximity or distance, the noetic realm is organized instead on the basis of formative proximity. The noetic pole of an organic process will be informed by the noetic poles of processes which have already occurred in the past through a kind of resonance. This resonance occurs on the basis of how much formative similarity there is between the ongoing process and processes within the past. The noemata of the past will have greater influence within the ongoing process if those past noemata are of closer proximity to the ongoing process within morphogenetic space, rather than physical space. Just as two strings will exhibit sympathetic resonance on the basis of the overtones shared between them, the noetic poles likewise resonate with one another on the basis of such compositional similarity. <laughs>